Welcome back to the Ricochet YouTube channel. My name is Chris Richter. It is great to have you here. Now in this video, I would like to take you through the process of adding a YouTube video to a Moodle page, but I'm going to show you a special way of doing it using, using a YouTube embedder that uh, makes life so much easier and it's so much simpler and it is really, really clever. Really cool. A big shout out to Greg Bird, Birdie Oz, uh, for putting this together. Uh, this YouTube better. So let's get in and have a look. First of all, what does it look like if we add a normal YouTube video into a Moodle page? Let's check it out. We'll go to YouTube and we'll grab our YouTube link. And there is our YouTube link there. And we'll just take the start time off. There we go. So this is for a YouTube video of a video that I've created on my channel. So make sure you check out the rest of the Ricochet YouTube videos here. There's heaps of them. But I've just copied the URL from the top. And normally, if we go into Moodle, we go in and edit a page. So let's edit settings. We go into our page and we can actually just paste that link straight into a page and press save. Now, if Moodle is doing what it normally does, it will automatically create a embed of that video. But Often that's not very pretty and you have no control over it. You can't do much with it, uh, not very creative. So there is a simpler way to do it. Now the next process or the next way that you can do it is to go back to the video, go to share, go to embed and go and grab the iframe content here. So let's try that, see what that looks like. And we'll add that below. So edit settings, we're going to our HTML to do this. And we're just going to paste that in below here. And I'll just put in here a YouTube embed. We'll just put that in. All right. And select save and display. So now we have our default. If you just put in the URL, that's exactly what it looks like just there. We also have our YouTube embed if we go and grab the embed code from YouTube. But let's try a YouTube embedder. Now to use this, we go to a website. It's called birdieoz.github.io slash helpers YouTube underscore embedder.html. I'll give you the link there for you. And to use this embedder, if you've been here for the first time, make sure you click on click here for first time instructions. And all we need to do is grab the YouTube embedder just here. That little link there, drag that and put that up here in our bookmark bar. So it says YouTube Embedder. What it's going to do is embed a YouTube video with this look and feel around it and put the video in full screen. All in one quick go demonstration. Let's go to our YouTube video. Let's click on YouTube Embedder. It jumps off to a new page and there is my video embedded with the full description of the video, which I can remove if I like, or I can leave the description in there. doesn't matter. Either way will work. So to embed that in Moodle, all I do is copy embed code. That changes green, so I've got it. I go back to my page. Select Edit Settings. Click here. Put my HTML in here. We'll call this one YouTube Embedder. We'll just put that in paragraph. And there's our code. You can see the code there has a start and end tag, start video box, end video box, all looks cool. Let's select save and display. And you now see that I have the YouTube video embedded in the content at full screen with the title of the video along the top. I haven't had to copy and paste that in separately. It all comes over in one go. It's also put a box around the outside, put a little font or some icon on the left as well, added the description, which I can go in and edit now in Moodle, that's fine. And there's the video at full screen ready to use. So you can see the difference between the three, but the most important one is the YouTube embedder. Again, thank you, Greg Bird, for putting this embedder together. Links down the bottom. Hopefully that's been extremely useful to you and you can find it uh, invaluable in getting your videos across. One more demonstration then just to finish off. Let's say, for example, I go back to a different video. 
here we go, bitmaps and vectors. I click on YouTube Embedder, I select Copy and Embed Code, I go back to my Moodle page, Edit, Edit, into HTML, and I'm just going to add it on the bottom there, and select Save and Display, and I now have my next YouTube video, all displayed with the title, as it is, it, it even has the time in it, it goes for 7 minutes, 6 seconds, that's all part of it. Description and the video at 100%. Fantastic, really fast, really quick. Hope you find it useful. Please like, subscribe, all that sort of stuff. And I'll tell you about some more uh, embedding tools that you can use, uh, thanks to Greg Bird as well, that uh, will make your life in Moodle so much easier.